What's up, guys? Welcome back to Country Bunkers Trains. We've probably got a somewhat quick, but hopefully a very good one today. We've got an unboxing video to take a peek at. As I mentioned previously, I made a somewhat big purchase on eBay. She showed up today. We're going to take a peek at it. Although I know what should be in here, we're actually going to find out what's in here together. On the auction in the description, they didn't post an actual photo of the engine. They used a standard catalog picture uh, for the ad. I've used trains auctions before on, on eBay, and I've had good luck, so I'm not overly worried or concerned about it. Uh, in the description, they, not they notated the engine is in excellent shape and runs beautifully. The only cosmetic flaw is a slight scratch on the front of the engine. So let's go ahead and get her opened up and take a peek at it. You know, nowadays it seems with these unboxing videos, the in thing or the thing to do, these guys use these big badass knives to open up these boxes. Hell, I've even seen guys use chainsaws and flamethrowers to open these packages up. So I, of course, figured, well, yeah, I got to get in on that. Don't worry, guys, I got you, of course. So yeah, guys, for today's video, we're going to be unboxing with this beautiful butter knife from the kitchen drawer. She's so sharp, she's dull, if you know what I mean. Come on, guys, don't be silly. I know we're here for the trains. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited. This is one I've been wanting for a while. I've had my eye on one for the last couple of months. I planned on picking this one up when we made our trip to Stockyard Express the other week. However, he no longer had it in stock. So I saw it on eBay and I had to grab it. We got any takers to who, what could be in here? What do you guys think? It's a pretty big box. Anyways, let's go ahead and get her opened. Did a good job of unpacking it up. Some train stuff. Like I say, I've always had very good luck ordering from these guys. Never had any issues or problems, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, yes. Box looks a little rough, but we'll see. Any takers yet? Here's one last look at the box. Like I say, it's it's pretty big. It's a good sized box. I'm pretty excited. I went ahead and pulled the uh, the carton out. You guys ready to find out? Let's see. Check that out. If you guessed Southern Pacific Daylight, you guessed right. Man, she's huge. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Well, here she is, guys. What a beauty. I remember being a kid, one of my buddies had one of these. I remember thinking how gorgeous this engine was, that I had to have one someday. We finally got one. However... After seeing this one, I'm thinking he had a Rail King version. <laughs> I don't remember it being quite as big as this one. This thing is gorgeous. And from the looks of it, Trains was correct. There's a very tiny, I don't even think you guys will see it, very, very faint scratch down here. Uh, but that's it. That's the only thing I see. She looks to be in beautiful shape. Just stunning. Hopefully she runs as good as she looks. She's a little bit older model. I believe she's from 2013. Uh, comes equipped with Proto Sound 3. Passenger station announcements, obviously. 
I'm excited to get her going. Check out those two big girls side by side. What a sight. Awesome looking. I wanted to touch base on a comment that I saw on one of the last videos. A gentleman commented that he loved MTH trains, however seemed a little uncomfortable or nervous about purchasing any more of MTH trains due to the fact that they could possibly be closing or going out of business. And I understand why that seems to be kind of a reoccurring theme nowadays in the hobby, with MTH announcing their possible closure or departure, or hopefully being sold, people are a little leery of buying trains from them. I've even heard of guys on the forums and whatnot who were MTH fans for many years, up and selling, getting rid of all of their MTH products in fear of not being able to support them anymore. Personally, I think that's a little overboard and a little too far, but <laughs> that's just me. But yeah, personally, I'm so invested in MTH products that I refuse to switch or stop purchasing them. I enjoy the hell out of them. As I've mentioned before, and as you can see, I love both of the big manufacturers, Lionel and MTH. However, I've had much better luck with MTH products. Again, as I say, I love my Lionel stuff, and I really do hate to say it, but all of my Lionel engines have given me issues. They've only lasted a little bit, and then soon after purchasing, they need repair, uh, servicing, whatever. My MTH engines, they just keep going. As I've said in previous videos, this little Rail King uh, Alco engine I've had for 20 years, she's still running strong as the day that she, I got her. Out of all the engines, this was the only MTH engine that I had to replace a motor in. Uh, that was the only quote-unquote catastrophic failure that I've had out of an MTH engine. Uh, but it wasn't due to the manufacturer. It was just due to plain wear and use. This thing's got like 600-some scale miles on it or something crazy like that, which even still isn't a whole lot if you look at some other engines. But this thing's been used and abused quite a bit, and it's never given me any issues. Again, as much as I hate to say it, I can't really say the same for my Lionel stuff. As I say, all of it has given me an issue. I had plans, or had planned all year to purchase a big Lionel Legacy engine uh, towards the end of last year. However, I, I never purchased it. <laughs> and again, that's not because, you know, I, again, I don't, don't like them or anything like that. It's just, as I say, I've always had such great luck uh, with Mike's Train House products. All the stuff runs great and doesn't give me any issues. One of the main points that guys touch on, touch base on, is the electronics in these engines. And again, I do understand it. If Mike's Train House was to close, who's going to support the electronics to keep these engines running? Uh, but again, for me personally, I, I'm not worried about it. No, I can't say these engines are going to last forever. We know the post-war stuff has made it all these years, and all of it pretty much still runs. It's, it's a great product. Can I say it's going to be the same for these modern engines? No, I cannot. However, as I've said previously, that little Alco I just showed you has lasted 20 years. If I get 20 years out of these engines, I will be perfectly content and happy with that. I, I can't complain about that. Yeah, I might have some breakdowns and stuff might need repair that might be a kind of a pain in the ass to find. Uh, but again, it's worthwhile to me. Even if all the electronics in these engines were to go kaput one day, we're still not backed into a corner. We've got ERR uh, out there with the TMCC boards that we can install into these engines for uh, Train Master command control. And I'm sure in the future there'll be even more electronic boards to be able to be installed into these engines. Convert them to two rail... DCC operation, whatever have you. So like I say, I'm not overly worried about it. But again, that's my own personal take and my opinion. Opinions are, are many. Uh, do what makes you happy. Do what you're comfortable with. Anyways, guys, enough of my babbling. Let's go ahead and see if this thing runs. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to go ahead and get it programmed in. All right, well, we got her on the track. Got some power to the track. We're not tripping any breakers. The remote picked her up. Let's see if she'll fire up. Mm -hmm. 
What a looker. <laughs> This one's supposed to also have the quillable whistle option. It's the SPW soft key, I believe. Yep. Pretty cool. Okay, turn it off. Well, will she move? Hell yeah. She sounds great. Well, we look to have a success. Everything seems to be working the way that it should. Another beautiful MTH engine. I'm going to have to get some passenger cars for this one now. Damn it. <laughs> we'll have to do a proper video on this engine in the future. Like I say, she's absolutely gorgeous. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated. Hopefully it was worthwhile. But until next time, guys, my name is Zach, and this is Country Bunkers Trains. Y'all take care. I'll see you the next go-round.